bro. Um, the Washington Wizards are have essentially made everybody available. Uh, uh, they've made Hachimura available. Kyle Kuzma has obviously been in speculations and rumors and everything with the Lakers, without the Lakers, all that stuff for some time. Porzingis, like basically their entire roster is open for trade. If they start selling everybody off, I really think that greatly increases the chances of the Lakers getting Bradley Beal. And just b- before I dive into it is, or we dive into it, is I don't want them to go get Bradley Beal. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't. Again, I want the depth the depth throw, right? Get four or five solid rotation guys. Go get some guys yeah. that can come in and, and really make an impact around and trust the stars you already have. Bradley Beal's contract is absolutely insane over the next several seasons. Like, as you get towards the end of that contract, you're paying him, like, $60 million a year. He's already injury prone. He he probably is best suited as like a number two or three option as opposed to like your best player. I don't think he's the best player on a championship team, but I think it's like your second, third option, like primary, like just if he's just like a scorer, then yeah. I think then I think he could work. I think he'd be fine. But the reality is it's the Lakers. Lakers love to star chase. They love the big game hunt. Uh they love to do they 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 love the names. Bradley Beal's yeah. name on a jersey that they could say, oh, look, we went and got Bradley Beal. So I absolutely, without a doubt, if Bradley Beal becomes available, the Lakers are gonna the Lakers are going after. Him. They're they're gonna they're gonna get him. If they can realistically get Bradley Beal. The thing is, though, is that and the reason why I think it's starting to look very likely, um, if they trade Kyle Kuzma, they trade Hachimura, like unless they get some like more ready now players i just i don't i don't see why bradley beal would stay because like they're already not good you're trading the guys that are good if you're bradley beal who now can actually uh, can request a trade if he wants to we're after the 15th so he could say i want you to trade me now and if they don't have if they're trading away all their good players why would bradley beal want to stay there Now, Washington could, you know, just pull a a Brooklyn Nets, Kevin Durant, and say, hey, you signed the contract, we're not trading you. But if you're them, why? If you want to – and there was even uh, uh, like a month ago now, it's been a while, but there was even uh, from one of like the Wizards guys, like one of the the big reporters – I'm blanking on his name right now, but one of the big Wizards uh, insiders said like Washington would be be foolish if they trade Kuzma and they trade – uh, you know, uh, all basically all their guys, like if they trade them, they would be foolish not to take the Lakers trade, which I do agree. Like, again, this yeah. is coming from a guy that does not want Bradley Beal on the Lakers. Like, I wouldn't be mad about it. I'm not going to be upset about it, but I don't want, I don't want Bradley Beal. I just, I want to go the depth route. I really do. I'd rather go the depth route. But Let's, like, the Lakers trade as in what though? Us giving up Russ? Russell what? Westbrook and two first round picks for first. Bradley Beal. And, Bill I mean, and the Lakers, the Lakers will give whatever they want. The Lakers will yeah. give whatever, whatever. If they want Max Christie, sure, take Max Christie. If they want, because that's just the Lakers. That's what the Lakers would do. I just think that that's not the best course of action, but it is something that the Lakers would absolutely do. And if Washington is going to blow it up, it makes zero sense for them to keep Bradley Beal and and get off of his salary, get off of his money while you can. Let it be the Lakers' problem. Dump him on the Lakers. Thing is too is that. And the reason, like, for those that maybe watch this and go, like, well, like, why would why would they want what the Lakers would would offer? Because what else are they going to get? What team has the salaries to match that isn't going to be long term salary? No one, you know, like, what team is looking at Bradley Beal and going, man, he's the missing piece we need? Probably, I, I don't know, <laughs> no one. If if so, very few. Like the Lakers, the, as much as it pains me to say, the Lakers are the are the sucker in the room, right? The Lakers are the sucker yeah. in the room that that would look at that and go, yes, that's what we need. We need the star. And we just keep hearing reports from everybody. The Lakers are, are, are you know, ho- are trying to convince LeBron that they're going to get Damian Lillard or they're going to get Bradley Beal. They're going to do this. You just keep hearing Bradley Beal's name get picked up over and over and over again. Usually yeah. when there's smoke, there's fire. There's something there. Yeah. Bradley, Bradley Beal has a no trade clause. He, he, has, he has that. So he can dictate where he wants to go. It's just the more that 
I'm like keeping an eye on the Wizards and all the moves that they're trying to make, the more it looks like Bradley Beal is maybe on the trade block come the trade deadline. Yeah. But what, what are your thoughts on the situation? Well, look, he's 29 years old, right? Yeah. So he's relatively young. Um, my thing is, if he comes to the Lakers, because you mentioned what he would want, like, like why would he really want to stay there? And if he's thinking long term, it makes sense because if he wants to stay there and potentially be like the face of the Lakers in the next few years, yeah, sure, you know, you can build a team around him because that's a player you can build a team around. He's not, you know, he's not a Kyrie level or anything crazy like that. But I mean, hey, you can build a team around him. I think. So, like I said, he's relatively young. Um, we can make that move. I just don't think it really does anything for us. Because it's like, okay, we go get Bradley Bill, and then what? You know what I mean? We still have a halfway healthy AD. Like, what does that really solve for us? We get another scorer, great. Hey, like, amazing score. Can put the ball in the hoop. But it's like, okay, so now we have, like, this half of a team that, like, you know, the stars don't really have any reliable pieces. You know what I mean? So... I, I don't I don't like it I I, I yeah I, I don't like it um, it's just to me it, and my thing is if you're the Wizards like it's so weird that team should work am I am I am I right like I don't know like I don't know if you feel the same way but that if you look at that roster on paper that roster should work it's a little yeah, but, clunky it, and it, weird it's but kind of, yeah, well, that, that's what I was just gonna say it's it, it kind of looks like a bunch of random players thrown together. Like it, like it, like you no, know, it, it does. But they're like, like pieces that you would think, like, like oh. Bradley Buell, Porzingis. Like the problem is that they have, they don't have a point guard. Like you know who would be perfect with that team? Believe it, is Russell Westbrook. Like if Russell West, <laughs> like if, like I'm dead serious. Like if Washington, let's say the Lakers trade Russell Westbrook to the Charlotte Hornets, right? And then Russ gets bought out. The Wizards should be, should immediately be calling Russ and saying, "Come here," because. The problem is they have – it looks like a so, random oh, – So you think they want Russ to keep him and not just clear cap space? No, no, no. If they trade Bradley Beal, they're going to they're gonna clear cap space. But what I'm saying is, like, let's say that move doesn't happen. Like, let's say the Lake, uh, let's say the Wizards just stand pat. They don't trade anybody. They want to keep Bradley Beal, which yeah. very well could still be the case. I'm not saying that they will trade Bradley Beal. I'm just saying, like, it's kind of like if they do decide to blow this all up, I don't see Bradley Beal sticking around. Not just that, but, I mean, he had an entire interview, two of them, but the one that sticks out was the Taylor Rooks interview where he was like, where he basically said, I mean, he said on multiple occasions, one, that the only reason he re-signed with the Wizards is because there were no other options. Like, that's usually not a good sign that your player wants to be there. You know, yeah. it's like, oh, yeah, like, why are you working this job? Ah, because there's no other job. There's no other job offers out there. It's like, so you don't really want to be here. It's just you need to make money. You just want the money. And that's yeah. that's what he said, basically what he said. And, two, he said that he, he would leave Washington if it meant him competing, that he wants to win in Washington, and he would love it. And he did say that it is frustrating at times that – you know, whenever he hears trade rumors, it's always about him going somewhere rather than a player going somewhere here. He's tried to recruit players. It never works. None of them want to go there. And he said it sucks. But he said he wants to win, and, he, and he'll go where he feels he can win. So he's not against leaving, right? But if they do decide to keep him, and let's say they end up – like let's say the Lakers do whatever deal. Like let's say yeah. it's the – deal whatever right Lakers do some deal involving Russell Westbrook Russell Westbrook gets bought out if Russell Westbrook gets bought out if I'm Washington I'm calling Russ immediately because he played great with Bradley Beal Bradley Beal really liked him they worked actually pretty well together but that team has everything except for a playmaker and Russ would be that perfect playmaker the problem is that they have like Monty Morris who's really just a shooting guard playing point guard and Bradley Beal doing something. They don't have, like, that that glue piece. And the way that Russ has evolved into this playmaker for the Lakers, if that can translate to Washington, then I actually think I, I actually think Washington could be very scary. Like, if everyone's healthy. I mean, Russell Westbrook, Bradley Beal, uh, uh, Hachimura, Kyle Kuzma, and Chris Stapp Porzingis might be the best five. Imagine in the seeing him and Por Porzingis together. Like, he's good at AD, but imagine oh, seeing yeah, him. He's going to make yeah. him better. He's going to make Bradley Beal better again. He plays better when he has, like, a true center, a.k.a., like, you know, AD. Um, so it would be it would be nice. It would be fun to see. I would love watching that. But I'm selfish. So I'm like, no, I want Kuz. Like, I, <laughs> I want Kuz back. You know what I mean? Especially but, now. Like, yeah, that, that that's – but that's the thing. Like, I just um, – 
I do. I think that if they have an opportunity to go get Bradley Beal, 